So it's Stress Awareness Month and we are talking all about stress. So are you stressed? Everybody feels stressed, but some of us feel stressed just some of the time and others seem to be in a constant state of stress. And it's usually a reaction to some kind of pressure, some kind of responsibility where things are spiraling out of control. I'm gonna share my five top tips that I share with my clients around the world to really help combat your stress. So before we go any further, I just wanted to let you know that in the description down below, there is a calendar that I've created for you all. So you can download it there, a stress survival calendar nonetheless, that has tips and techniques for every single day during April to really help you keep control of your stress. Tip number one, get yourself organized and start delegating. Too many people try to do everything themselves. They're too proud or too used to doing everything themselves and they are trying to spin too many plates at once. So spread the workload and don't be afraid to ask for help. Get yourself organized, delegate things out and feel stress free. Tip number two, fill your life with people that you want to be like. Because if you are around people that are all negative Nellies and everybody's whinging, everybody's stressing at you, everybody's pulling at you, and it's all things that you don't want to be involved with, then change it. Change the company that you keep. Tip number three, learn when you need to zip it. Sometimes the bigger person is the person that's walked away. And if you're the kind of person that's a real stress head and can't walk away from a situation, you have got to learn sometimes to let it go. And saying nothing is the best thing that you can do. So start to become aware of when you need to rein it in and say nothing at all. Tip number four. Stop walking into stressful situations. If that was somebody else and they said to you that they didn't want to go to something because they knew it was going to cause them loads of stress, what would you say? You'd say, well, don't go. Cancel. So you need to know when you need to cancel. You need to know when you need to step back and make sure that you're doing what's right for you. Stop putting yourself in stressful situations. You're setting yourself up for a fall. You're setting yourself up to feel stressed. So notice the situations that make you feel stressed and do them less and less. Tip number five, make sure that you've got at least three hobbies, yes, three hobbies that are in your life that really bring you into a state of calm. So whether you do meditation, whether your go-to thing is the gym, whether you like to put your earphones in and go for a run, whatever it is, make sure that you have at least three things in your diary every single week so that you're constantly bringing yourself back into a state of relaxation and a peacefulness within your mind because you know what? Life happens and stress happens, but you need tools in your back pocket that you can pull out that will bring you back into a state of peace and get you in the zone. So don't forget down below to download your stress survival calendar. I'm Suzanne Elizabeth at Seriously Sassy Self Love. Come back and see me soon.